एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Yeah, I'm happy. I mean, I think I have pretty high expectations coming here to be honest. Um I I knew that we'd put a good squad of players together. Um but also the more time you spend around the IPL, you realize how evenly matched a lot of the teams are. And, you know, we got off to a great start. Things got a little bit shaky towards the back end, but the boys have managed to play two really good games out of their last three and and hopefully we can you know, play our best game in the final. But look, I I guess looking back now, yeah, we're happy it's been a good season, but you know, we still haven't won anything yet. And that's that's what we're all here for. We're here to win the IPL and We'll give it our best shot over the next couple of days. Yeah, I mean that was it was a little bit frustrating, I think, at that time because we up until that moment we played you know very very good cricket and we're probably argue, argue with the best team in the tournament um, come that time. So I'm not sure if the boys just got a little bit complacent. I'm not sure if you know this hub life got the best of some of the boys as well. It was all sort of that stage of the tournament where um, it was starting to get a bit difficult for everybody. But to their credit, they found a way to, to fight back. It was a must win game as we know against RCB that the boys played really well in and. And yesterday was one of our best performances as well, as well, particularly with the bat. So, um, yeah, look, as I try to say to the guys on the way through the tournament, it didn't matter that we lost games. Uh, you know, it, it, each team won a couple, lost a couple, won a couple, lost a couple. We just said all of our losses came in one, pretty much in one little group, which sometimes can be hard to change the momentum. But as I said, to their credit, they did it, and now we find ourselves in the final. So, um, and we think our best cricket is still to come. Yeah, look, Marcus has been dying for an opportunity to bat further up the order, and just the way that our team balance has sort of worked out for the first part of the time with Pritvi and, and Jinx both being there sort of made it a little bit difficult to get Stoin us up the order. And, but every time he'd been given an opportunity in the tournament, especially if he went in with you know ten or twelve overs to go, he, he played really well. You know, he, he opens in the big bash. I've seen him do some amazing things back in Australia at the top of the order, and um, I think he's you know he's a vastly improved player than he was twelve months ago. And I think we're all starting to see just how good he can be with both bat and ball, and he's you know he's very very good in the field as well. So. Look, he was craving that opportunity. If you look at a weakness in our cricket through the, this tournament, it has been our, our batting power plays. You know, I think we lost a, a wicket in the first over in something like eight or nine games through the tournament, which is unbelievable, really, when you think of the quality that we've got at the top of the order. So we wanted to try and rectify that, but also have a bit of a presence there to put some pressure back on the Sunrisers bowlers. And when you know Marcus is standing at one end and the bowlers are running in, they know that if they miss by a small margin, then being as big and as strong as he, he is, he's going to put it away. So that that worked well for us. I mean, Shikha's probably had his best season ever in his 13th year. Um, so yeah, there's some really good signs for us, and we probably still haven't got the best out of out of Rishabh either in the tournament. So if he happens to fire in the in the final, then I think we're capable of making a really good score. No, look about just enjoying it for what it is. You know, it's it's not an easy thing to do to make it into an IPL final. I said that to the boys last night. There'd be a lot of guys that have played a lot of cricket um, that they've never made one. Thankfully, I've. I've coached one before, and I was part of another team as a captain that, that won one as well. So I know what it's like to be there. But um, you know, I think probably the most important thing with these big games like this is to don't try and hide away and just say it's another game because it's, it's not. There's actually more on it, and you're better off enjoying that and trying to embrace the extra nerves and everything that come, that come with a with a final. So, like I said to them yesterday, they, they deserved to be in that game yesterday, and, and as it turned out, they deserved to win. But all, all we've done so far is given ourselves the right to play in the final. Now we've got to go out and earn the right to win the final. So um, we'll keep things. Things will be, you know, pretty much the same. We won't we won't build it up anymore. I think there's already and there'll already be enough build up and there'll be enough talking and thinking about it from the boys. So we'll just do all our meetings the same way. It'll be nice and relaxed and chilled tomorrow. And then when we get to the ground, we'll, we'll put our, our game faces on and, and hopefully go and play. Up. No, we're, we've got enough. We've got enough firepower. I think. I think if Mumbai would be sitting back, if there's a team that they wouldn't want to play, to be us. And I've actually heard some of them say that already. So, um, but it's it's about us. It's about how we turn up and how we play. It's simple as that. We, we we've been a long way below our best in the games we've played against Mumbai so far. And I think you know, once we sit down today and we we try and address some of the areas that we we haven't played well against them in the past. As I said, it's been our power play batting. It's probably been um, our death bowling against them a couple of times where they've really got away from us. So if we rectify those things and play somewhere near our best, then absolutely I've got no doubt at all that, that we can win. Now, I mean, the other thing with Mumbai as well is they've played a pretty fearless brand of cricket right the way through. They've played pretty high-risk sort of cricket, certainly with the way that they've batted. Um, you know, we know that they rely on Trent Bolt uh, Bol with a brand new ball to take early wickets for them. So if we can get that part of it right, um, and if they just have a few little things go against them and, and we execute and put them under pressure, then I'm sure the result could change. Uh, well, my job as coach, and I say this to him almost every day, my job as coach is to make his job as easy as possible. So, you know, we'll, we'll go through our meetings tonight, we'll get all the planning and preparation done. We'll keep things as simple as we possibly can with him. He's, he's someone that doesn't like an overload of information as well. You're better off just drip feeding him little pieces of advice along the way. And 
So we'll give him the information tonight, I'll tell him to go to bed and, and, and not even think about the game until he has to tomorrow. And so far what he's done on the field this year has been outstanding. I mean, we've probably overlooked at how young he is as a captain and the results that he's been able to achieve for this franchise over the last two years because it's, it's certainly not about the coaches, it's about the players and what the players do and, and what the captain does on the field. And, um, he's been outstanding. So once again, we'll, we'll make sure that we, we keep things nice and simple for him but, uh, and then keep our fingers crossed and hope everything falls into place for him tomorrow. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.